Every now and again, the internet decides to latch onto something good, helpful, and innocent, and proceeds to dilute and transform it until it completely changes the entire point it was trying to make to begin with. Welcome to the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge is a viral activity where the participant pours a bucket of icy water over their head and then nominates two other people to do the same, which should then be followed by them giving to charity. And it's managed to create enough attention that over $100 million has been raised for the ALS charity. And let me clearly state, there's nothing wrong with the idea of raising awareness for charity. And it's great that it is creating awareness for such a horrible disease. I certainly didn't know about it until now. But that's not the problem I have with the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. The problem is that as this meme spreads further and further across the planet, the message behind it gets more and more diluted. About 90% of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenges I've seen on my own personal social media pages have never even mentioned ALS in the title, or even mentioned the fact that they donated to charity. The problem is now all these stupid asshole kids think it's nothing more than a fun, crazy game. <laughs> Much like how people treated and spread the whole neck nomination fad. Although this is not quite as insulting or ludicrous as that one. There is nothing fun about your muscles rapidly wasting away due to a fucking disease. There is nothing cool or hip about not being able to speak or breathe properly. Hey, look at this. Look, I, I just donated $10 to ALS. I've just done more than the majority of troglodytes on Facebook. And all without humiliating myself. I must be the greatest, most genuine person ever. Although I'm not really sure why there's an optional tick box saying, I want my donation to be used solely for ALS research. Why the hell else would I be donating? Of course I want the money to go to that. The problem is people assume because the word challenge is in it, it's some fucking stupid internet meme shit that revolves around stupid people being stupid and doing stupid things and spreading the stupidity to other equally stupid people. <sighs> this whole thing where you have to nominate other people to do some moronic shit has been taken to this face palmingly disparaging level. Then you have those keyboard slacktivists who do an ice bucket challenge, don't give to charity, and still go, Well, I spread awareness for charity. That's my good deed for the year. Just flat out giving to charity or raising awareness for it doesn't automatically make you a good person. Sure, it makes you look like a good person, but taking five minutes out of your middle class day to pour ice water over your head and upload a video of it to Facebook is not exactly taxing or improving the world. I'm not a fucking hero because I gave to ALS for this event. Oh, look at me, I gave to a charity. Okay, good, do you want a congratulations for it or what? It's very cynical of me to say this, but I'm sure that most people are only giving to the charity out of necessity. Well, because everyone else is doing it. I guess I should do it too. I need to do what everyone else is doing to be a fulfilled human. Please, Facebook, tell me what to do next. It's a shame that we have to create internet fans like these just to get charities some attention. This shouldn't be just a one-time thing that comes and goes, but it's going to be. So if you are going to do an ice bucket challenge, at least mention the fact that you're doing it for charity, and then proceed to actually give to it. That should go without saying. Well, you know what? Even better, don't do an ice bucket challenge and just quietly donate however much you're comfortable with, and without being nominated. Without gloating that you did donate like me and half the rest of the fucking internet. So those are my thoughts on the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. I'm not really sure if I'm late to the party on this one, but it might still be relevant, I don't know. So what do you think? Do you do you agree with some of the things I said? Do you dis disagree with some of the things I said? Leave a comment below and tell me why or not why or whatever. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and things. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye.